Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys here to inspire you to live out loud via hair, fashion, and lifestyle. And we are back with another video. Today, we are talking about the synthetic wigs that you slept on or are currently sleeping on. This is a part two, so if you haven't checked out part one, highly suggest you check it out after this video. In that video, I discuss wigs in the $20 price range that y'all have been sleeping on, and I'm really feeling the feedback that you all have been giving me. Seems like y'all are really here for this mini series. Y'all know how much I love synthetic wigs, and I'm happy to see that y'all share the same passion. So let's get into this part two. If you see a wig in this video that you like, please check my description box for all links. Everything's there. A lot of these wigs can be found on Amazon, and I am an Amazon affiliate, so I will be listing my Amazon affiliate links. You don't have to shop through Amazon, of course. But if you do shop through my links, you are directly supporting my channel and y'all have been showing out. Trust, it means a lot to me when y'all do. Now for part two, we're going to focus on textured wigs. And y'all know, this is my type of hype. I'm so freaking excited. Y'all know that I love the wigs that mimic my natural type 4 hair. So if that's you, honey, this is the video for you. If you're interested in the hair that I'm wearing right now, my little puff puff pony, a lot of y'all were feeling it in the first video. So I was like, let me just wear it again. This is not my hair. This is an Afro kinky ponytail from Amazon. I have it in the 12 inches and it's bomb. I've been wearing it nonstop. I'm currently obsessed and I'm sure by now some of you are too. If you purchased this unit because of me, drop some comments down below. Let the girls know how you feel. Also, a huge shout out to everyone who's watching with me live during the premiere party. Premieres are a good time for you to just come on, watch the video with me. We get to chat live together. It's a really good time. So that's why you have to make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can catch my premieres. All right, y'all. So the first synthetic textured wig that y'all have been sleeping on. It's by Sensational, and her name is Angel Face. Did y'all see how I was looking in that wig? Did y'all see it? Hello! <laughs> Angel Face is bomb! Now I must give it up to Sensational. They have really come a long way when it comes to their textured units. I remember when they came out with the curls, kinks, and cold line. One of the first ones I reviewed from them was Boss Lady, the lace front wig. And it's just come away. Like they have way better fibers now and I'm just here for it. Angel Face is just one of those girls that you just put on when you're ready to go out with your friends. It's a Friday or Saturday night. You haven't been out for a minute because it's been COVID, but you're like, you know what? I'm ready to stunt. That's when you put on Angel Face. So I'm telling you, just add it to the cart. Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't worn her in a while and I haven't been wearing like lace fronts at all this year. But when I start bringing them back, she's gonna be back in my rotation for sure. I think the best thing about this unit for me is the style and the price point. As we all know, synthetic wig prices have been increasing and you have wigs, you know, like Outre Julianne 24, that's like in the 60s, you know? And Julianne 24 is a gorgeous unit. But if you want something similar for about $30 less, Check out Angel Face. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. All right, next on my list of synthetic textured wigs that you've been sleeping on is by Outre, and it's one of their niches, Nisha 207. Now, a lot of you already know how I feel about the Nisha collection. It's definitely one that holds dear to my heart because at the time, you know, a lot of companies were not coming out with textured wigs. And I feel like when Outre came out with this collection, it just threw everyone in a tizzy. And I feel like companies just started lining up with more yakky, kinky straight wigs, which I'm all the way here for. Nisha 207 is not one I tried right away, but when I did, I was like, yo, I'm asleep. Like, why have I been sleeping for so long? And y'all have been too because I just haven't seen a lot of reviews on this unit. But the reviews that I have seen, people look great in her. What I like the most about this unit is not only the texture, but I also like the length and the fullness. 
However, in my video, I did lessen the density using my Revlon blow dryer brush because I know for some people that density is a little bit too full. That has been a common critique of the Nisha wigs where the wigs are just a little bit too plush for some people's liking and that's okay, but there are ways to fix that. So if you have been wondering how to diminish the density of your units, Highly recommend that you check out that video and I just advise you to cop the wig because she's gorgeous and she's perfect for every day. Another good thing that I've noticed about the later Nisha units is that they come in gray colors. I think there's about three or four gray blends that are available. Check out the link in my description box, you'll see them. And that's awesome because I feel like we're at a point where grays should be included as like a standard, you know what I mean? Because there are women, normally older women, whose hair turns gray. And if they like gray hair, why should they only be subjected to natural hair colors and whatever else is normally available? You know what I mean? That's something that Still Looking Good 58 touched on. Her and my girls Wheezy Wig Reviews and The Hard to Take 90 did this wig wishlist series, which I really, really enjoyed. And Faith touched on that, the fact that the gray blends are just lacking. <laughs> so the fact that Outre was able to kind of like point that out and make it a thing, I commend them for that. Okay, next on my list of textured wigs that you've been sleeping on is another Nisha wig, Nisha 204. Now, at the time this came out, you know, the Nisha train was still pretty hype because one, two, and three had come out like maybe a few months prior. So people were super excited when 204, 205, 206 came out. However, I feel like currently it's a wig that is slept on because honestly y'all, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous unit. The texture, the curls, oh my God, beautiful. My only con though was the curls in the back on one side was not symmetrical to the curls on the other side, but I used my Revlon blow dry brush and I made it work. The end result, I am still in love with that end result. You should check out that video. In that video, it was one of my how to make your wig look natural videos. I have quite a few of those. You'll see them in my wig 101 playlist, which I will link down below. But in that particular video, I think I did a great job outlining step-by-step, -step, you know, different tips to make your wigs look natural. So if you are a beginner, honey, just click on that playlist and just, you know, set it up to binge watch because I'm telling you, you will definitely walk away from that video knowing a lot more than you did the day before. Even if you're a veteran to wigs, I still think there's something you could take from it too. But yes, y'all, Nisha 204, I had that joint in three colors. Oh my God, and the the golden copper color, what? It's a beautiful wig and I'm still sticking beside it in 2022. All right, y'all, next on the list, this is a sleeper for real. This is by Zuri Sis and her name is Romy. came out I remember being excited because at that time I hadn't seen Zuri Sis come out with textured wigs so I was hyped I copped it like right away and I was floored by how gorgeous it was and I was like yo Uche is not the only one out here making these nicely textured wigs I'm here for it. What I love most about Romy is the fact that I felt comfortable wearing her glueless. The lace looked really good once I applied my foundation to it and the style I mean I could go on and on. If you haven't tried Zuri Sis Romy, put her on the list, for real. I know on Amazon, she's not really available in a lot of colors, so you may be better off checking on Google, but either way, she's a contender. And you know what, in general, it makes me think, like with Zuri Sis, what's going on? I know that Outre and Sensational tend to dominate the synthetic wig market, but it would be nice to see some of these other companies, you know, kind of come up, step out, and compete a little bit. I noticed that um, the Shake and Go brand, namely Free Trust Equal, they've been coming out with some frontal wigs and pre-plucked hairline textured wigs. I've seen a few on wig types. Don't know if I'm gonna be trying any of them for real, but I, I see them, I see them doing a little something, but I don't know, I still, I feel like it's still not at the rate, at the speed, at the vigor as Outre, you know what I mean? And this is just a side note, but can we have somebody else step up? <laughs> 
competition now. I have a lot of Outre wigs in my collection, Sensational as well, and a few other brands, but I'm ready to see something shake in 2022. I'm ready to see something new. I feel like the newer wigs that have been coming out have been a little bit, eh, I don't know. I'm not really excited to buy them. <laughs> So we need someone to make something shake, okay? If it's Outre, you know, I'll take it. They're like number one in my book. But I would love to see other brands like Vanessa Hair. They are great when it comes to textured units. I don't know if y'all know this, but I've had quite a few units over the years by them. Texture has been awesome. Where are they? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm sure COVID didn't make things any better for some of those brands, but I just hope in 2022 we see more companies stepping it up with the synthetic wigs while still keeping it at like a certain price point. But that's a talk for another day. All right, next on my list of textured wigs you're sleeping on is another Outre wig. This is a half wig from their Converti Cap series and it's called Hawaiian Hottie. <laughs> Well, I think it was like my part four of 10 cheap headband wigs, that whole series I had. I just feel like it's so easy, breezy, and beautiful. If you like straight, yakky hair and you like, you know, a more, I would say more conservative length because it's shorter, it falls on me like around 16 inches, get Hawaiian Hottie. And on top of that, right now on Amazon, you should be able to find that wig for about $18 in various colors. Amazon does this thing where it's, if you change the color, the price could change. But with Hawaiian Hottie, I've been tracking that wig for a good year. And every time I see it, it's always ranging between $18 to $20 on Amazon. So I highly suggest you grab that wig. You can wear it with your natural hair out. You can use a headband, which is my preference. Do you, boo. But I'm telling you, if you're looking for a nice, everyday, straight half wig, Hawaiian Hottie is your girl. All right, next on the list of textured wigs that you're sleeping on. I actually featured this wig in part one. This is a wig by Outre. This is Electra Fro. This is not my natural hair. This is a synthetic half wig. I can't go over this. <laughs> anyway, let me take this joint off. Uh, okay, see, I told you I'm fooling y'all all 2020. One. I'm just gonna keep bringing it up until y'all get with the program. Seriously, y'all need to stop sleeping on this unit. Look at it. Look at this hair. You tell me this is not my hair. You're lying. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. Easily the most realistic type 4C wig I have tried. Like. And I've tried many, but this, I, like once you fluff out those curls, I literally wanted to pass out because I could not believe how closely it mimicked my natural hair texture. Even compared to some of my human hair units, I have a human hair headband wig that is a 4T texture. And when I compared those two in a video, I was having a really hard time seeing the difference, you know, just from looking at it. Of course, in person, when you touch it, you feel it. The human hair headband wig is way softer. But Electra Fro, if you're just going for the look and you want it for a fraction of a human hair price, highly suggest you check her out. Also, Outre has really bomb clip-ins too that remind me of Electra Fro. I'll see if I could find a link to it. I know I already did a review on it some time ago. All right, next wig on my list. <sighs> Uh, you know, this is a wig that I'm definitely going to bring back this year. I don't have a dedicated review on it, but I just have like one picture that I'm in love with. <laughs> this is by the Sensual Vela Vela brand and the name of this wig is Pepe. Looking at this picture, I mean, there's no way you're, you're telling me this is not my hair. Seriously, this wig is stunning. Stunning. Now, if you watched part one, you probably saw that I talked about Vela Vela Bounce Bob, which is basically like the big sister to Pepe. Pepe is shorter. So in my experience, Bounce Bob usually took more like finessing and raking and cutting and things like that. But with Vela Vela Pepe, I feel like it took less work. Now I don't know if it was because it's shorter or if it's because they made it less dense. 
but it's a gorgeous twist out wig i mean pepe and bounce bob are like my favorite twist out wigs that are synthetic hands down but i wanted to highlight pepe in particular because i haven't talked about her before and i think she is amazingly gorgeous and i will be buying her again you will see her on most wig websites for like 15 16 dollars i'm about to cop mine from wig types I'll make sure I leave the link down below. It doesn't come in a lot of colors, but all I really search for is a number two because that's my natural hair color and I'm good to go. Now, if this video is helpful to you, do me a favor, sis, like this video, leave a comment for your girl, share this with a friend because this is how my content is able to get pushed out onto YouTube, into the algorithm. You know, the YouTube guys, sometimes they come through, sometimes it's a little iffy. But I feel like 2022 is gonna be a really good year with YouTube, especially with all of you. So if you're watching, I just want to say thank you. So you're welcome. <laughs> we appreciate y'all. And double the trouble. <laughs> I cannot put y'all teaming up on me. C and her sister are here. Say hi y'all. Hello. Hey. And oh y'all look real crisp and clear. Okay. And cute. <laughs> Don't forget the key. Y'all cute. Oh, you got bangs too. No, Hello. Job. I promise I'm yeah. almost done. I got two All more right. wigs. Bye. Oh Lord. All right. Oh yeah, y'all never met C's sister. Yes, she has a sister. Her name is Amanda and she also has a YouTube channel as well. And she talks about fashion and business and all types of girl boss shit. So y'all make sure y'all go check her out. I'll leave her link in the description box down below. All right, y'all. Next wig on the list is by Outre and this is Every 15. This is like the perfect textured everyday wig. If you like straight yakky hair, just add it to the cart, sis. Seriously. I have nothing else to say. The copper color is gorgeous. It's easy. And that's the thing about the Everywhere collection. It's made for beginners in mind. So again, if you are brand new to the wig game, just stepped out on the streets, literally, this is the wig for you. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to have to get this in a number two color. Like, I need to stop playing. And I think I should bring it back this year. That's the thing that I've been realizing, like... There are just so many wigs that I still love to this day that I would still wear that I wore like two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. And that's why I did this mini series because I really want to take the time to highlight them for you all just to put y'all on. And let me know, did I put y'all on? Or maybe you've heard of some of these before. Maybe you forgot about them. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, Miss Every 15, you're going to see her back in 2022. And y'all are going to be like, girl, is that your hair? <laughs> it's mine because I bought it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Last wig on my list of synthetic wigs that are textured that you've been sleeping on. It's another Nisha wig. And it's Nisha 206. Look at this wig. I feel like Nisha 206 is so underrated. I'm so glad that I'm able to bring her back around to show you all in her glory. What? <laughs> the first few Nisha's got a lot of shine. I don't know. I feel like this one just got skipped over. I have an entire tutorial on this unit showing how I make my wigs look natural. So if you're interested, I'll link it in the description box. But this, she's effortless. Beautiful, kinky, straight bob. I don't know why y'all slept so hard on 206. Actually, I take it back. I do know why. I think by the time 206 came out, the Nisha train, you know, it, it started pulling into the station. It the, 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 the trend had died down. The hype had diminished. And I think 206 came out and people were kind of like, oh, okay, that's cute. Meanwhile, I was like, oh, we got a bob. Great. And that's what I love about it. It's a textured bob. Perfect for every day. Great for beginners. Case closed. Get the wig. Add to cart. You know, th this whole list is an add to cart moment. I don't know how many different ways I can say it. Trust me on this because I'm not going to steer you wrong. I've tried so many different wigs, especially a lot of textured ones. I have an entire textured wig playlist. You can check that out as well. There are easily like 80 videos in that playlist now. For real. And I have done well over 300 
videos on this channel. So with all that experience, when I say something is good, please take my word for it. Nisha 206, what I like about the most is absolutely the texture and the length of it. So if you want to see it in person, I will link the video I wore it in. I made this video called 7 Easy Wig Hacks, which a lot of y'all definitely enjoyed on my channel. You'll see it there. I added like a fake scalp to it and everything. It was a lot going on in that video. And low key, between you and I, I am doing a part two to that video. So be on the lookout. It's coming out in March. I don't know when, but it's coming out. And I have some interesting things that are going to happen in that video. I'm really excited. Turn those notifications on so that you are notified. And another thing I like about Nisha Toe 6 is that because it's a later Nisha, it comes in gray colors. So win-win. All right, y'all. Those are all of my textured wigs that I feel like y'all have been sleeping on. Who is awake? Did you wake up after watching this video? Let your girl know in the comments. Premiere party, talk to me in the chat. Let me know how you feel. Which ones are you adding to cart? Which ones are you putting on the wish list? Which ones are you going to make Bay buy for you? Because, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> it's been a while since I made C buy me some wigs, but I think it's time. What y'all think? What y'all think? My apologies, y'all. I lost the last bit of my footage, but y'all know what to do if you've been here this whole time. Click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.